Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and install iSort Visual Studio Code extension. Now to install iSort extension from Visual Studio Code, like we have done previously, if you've been following along, we can now directly do that within Visual Studio Code's extension. So let's take a look at how we're going to install this and the reason why we might want to use it in the first place. So let's jump back into the extensions area tab on the left hand side. Let's type in iSort. So we're looking for Microsoft tick. Yep. So let's go ahead and install that. You can see that there are 21 million downloads, a very popular extension. So like we performed with the other extensions, there are some configurations that we can include into our settings file. And we're going to do that again at the project level. So you can see here, for example, that we can buddy iSort with black so that when the sort takes place, it is also following the black, which is our formatter. Of course, it's following the stylistic conventions of black. So to avoid any issues where we're trying to utilize multiple styles, we're trying to follow in this case, um, stylistic convention from black still. So we only really want to have one code formatter in action. So before we show you what it does exactly, let's go ahead and change our settings. So we're going to need to define the fact that we want to organize imports and then we define the fact we want to, uh, we're going to use the black profile to make those changes so that we ensure that we are following the black formatting configuration. So let's go back into our settings file here. We keep that open and add that into here, let's just make sure we use a comma after the last instruction. So that's going to enable organization of imports. And then we want to, in addition to that, we're told that we want to set up the argument profile black to make sure that that's all tied in nicely with black. So don't forget the comma again. So that's our current configuration. So at this point, uh, we should now be able to show you exactly what this does. So if you don't have this code, we can just follow along, watch along. So at the top here in Python, we have imports. So if I go ahead and just add another import, so let's import OS, for example, in our application, we might eventually have multiple imports within our application. So ultimately, iSort is a Python utility that's going to help us organize and format import statements within our Python code. It's going to automatically analyze the different types of imports, and then it's going to arrange them in a standardized and consistent order. So the primary goal of iSort then is to improve the readability of our code to enforce a clear and uniform structure of imports. And it's probably not the best example here, but Generally, the OS import is going to be placed at the top as a standard convention. So if I press save now, you can see that that's going to be placed at the top. And then we have the from Django.db import models below. And you can see there is a gap as well. So although there are only two imports here and we may be new to Python, let's understand the fact that there are different types of imports. So for example, you can have a standard library imports. That's what you're looking at here. There may be third party imports. Maybe we have installed some additional uh, packages and we're going to import them into our code or else we might have some local imports. So here we're importing potentially from a local resource within our application. So what's happening here is that iSort is sorting these into a consistent and predefined order and ultimately that is going to improve the readability of our code by enforcing this clear and uniform structured within our application code. Now, these are really small gains and at this kind of small scale, it might not seem very important or necessarily to worry about this, but as our application grows, as it becomes more complex, there's nothing better than to open up code and for you to have a clear understanding, you and the rest of your team to have a clear understanding of exactly how the code is formatted to make it easy for you to read and to diagnose problems and to extend the code base.
So hopefully at this point you do have iSort installed. And even if you are a new developer, you are starting to see maybe some of the value that it provides. It really is something that you would install and potentially forget about, but it provides a really useful service of improving the readability of your code.